I think I'll go back. To the ship and load that to the server as mission. <laughs> Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Casinos, really? Number seven. I just don't see what the point is. Hmm. Oh, come on. You clean up well, Shepard. Thought we might try an evening out. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. I have to say I'm a bit surprised. I thought you might be. I can be, uh, <laughs> severe. You're focused. Believe me, I understand. I was thinking about our talk earlier, about having a normal life. <laughs> Damn, I'm not very good at this. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? Look around you. It's a room full of great ideas. Here? It's nothing but alcohol, gambling, and wasting time. Yeah. Right. Need more wine. Bring the lady more wine. Oh, God. I'm going to regret this. We're just friends out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. I think let's try that one. Yes, I know that's where we met, but later that same ex servers Vanguard picks up a backpack. It's half a dozen.
Oh, mom. Really? Um, okay. <laughs> Let's try. Hannah Shepard here. Hi, mom. Oh, honey. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. This is a surprise. It's been a long time. It has. I, I just felt I needed to. I think about you every day. I try not to worry. The other day, I was remembering the bedtime stories we used to make up. You had your own ship and crew. The stories were always filled with adventure and danger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Haven't thought about that in a while. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, you'd always swoop in to punish the bad guys to save the day. So, there you are. Even when you were little, you dreamed of the life you had. Is that the reason you wanted me to call? No. I just want you to know that I am proud of you, son. So proud. Thanks, Mom. I have to go. I know. Be safe. Please. Goodbye, sweetheart. <laughs> So what? A private cabin on a stealth warship isn't enough for you? I'm watching the place for a friend. What are you doing? Calling Izo. Izo? What the? Yeah, he's from Thessia. Naturally biotic from all the elements zero. Their biotics make them short-tempered, so a lot of them get abused or abandoned. Can you imagine someone doing that? I found him at a rescue place. I'm trying to teach him that it's okay to trust people. He started out really angry, but I've been giving him lots of love, and now he's a big old softy. <laughs> what? He seems like a good pet. Yeah. Who's my badass biotic? Mm -hmm. Who's my badass biotic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's all mm, I think. Nothing here. I'm Andrew Bailey. Okay. Jacob. mission be interesting. Okay. Uh, wait a 
Let's check up. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. I want to make sure we're ready before we commit. Understood. The fleets are ready when you are. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. <sighs> okay. Commander Shepard. Commander. Messages, okay. Talk. What the fuck? Commander, are you ready to send the fleets against the Cerberus stronghold? Yes, no. Now, yeah. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. Everything's ready, Shepard. What about you? Are you ready? Let's get it done and go home. We're not getting off that easy, Ash. <laughs> no. We looking at a rough ride? Ash, I get what you're trying to do. Hey, no brushing me off. Talk to me. What's going on? I'm not brushing you off. I'm just thinking about everyone we've lost fighting this war. I understand. And do I ever. You know, I was lost without you, Shepard. When I thought you were dead, it broke my heart. And then you found your way back. It was a miracle. Screw the science. It was a damn miracle, Shepard. I couldn't do this without you, Ashley. When I first met you back on Eden Prime, I saw a woman who never gave up. You lost your company, expected no help, and there you were, fighting an invasion single-handed. You don't need to say anything, Shepard. No, I do. I love you. I doubted you once, Shepard, and I lost you. That's not happening again. Just shut up.
Problem. Okay. Having trouble sleeping, I guess. I'm surprised you slept at all with everything going on. Yeah, you're right. Just jitters, I guess. Just jitters, he says. You amaze me. What? Nothing. I love you. You being here with me? It means everything. Shepard. Shh. I love you. Yep. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. <laughs> 89 okay <laughs>
Let's do this. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Iros. I can do this. It might be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, wh what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, lady. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. I know it hurts. Not being able to go with her. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. Hey, Shepard. Keep her safe. Same to you. Cerberus intends to vent the hangar bay. Can you stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level. Edie, I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However... I can access their fighter launch controls.
Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Oh. Right here. Let's get down there. Really? What? Who? Oh, come on. 